In this video, I'm going to be going through the best PC optimization guide, so you can get the best FPS and zero input delay in Chapter 5, and I'm going to be showing you how you can play stretch resolution on full screen mode instead of window full screen, so hit that subscribe button for more content, let's dive straight into it. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games, using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description, and play your game with lower ping. First, go to the Windows and type in percentage local app data, percentage. Find Fortnite Game Save Config. Windows Client. You gonna wanna right-click this properties. And untick this box. After you've done that, go to your settings. And you're gonna make sure that you're playing on performance mode. And your frame rate limit is set to your monitors. Refresh rate. Then you're gonna scroll down even more. And this is where the 3D resolution setting comes in. If you're on a low end PC, I would recommend 8%. And if you're on a mid end PC, I recommend 90 to 95 and a high end PC. You can just leave that 100. Your view distance should be on near. Textures on low and measures on low next. You're gonna go to audio settings and make sure that sound quality is set to low. Because this gives less input delay in game. Also go to subtitles and options. Make sure all of these are on the lowest setting. And then you should be good to go. Now go to my website I give link in the description and download the best PC optimization pack for Fortnite and follow me. Once you have opened up the application, you can see it does look very complex, but it really isn't as. The first thing you want to do is go to the top Go to the corner. corner under main and make sure, sure the manage processes of all users is selected. In addition to that, I also find that having the pro balance disabled works better for myself and the majority of people out there however some people do have this enabled it's something you need to test out after you've set up that boy if you head over to options first then up, go into cpu under where it says pro balanced if you are disabled in this make sure it's also unchecked or disabled in here as well from there you can go back in the options and under general if you configure the startup you can actually make this open when your pc boots which i do recommend and finally if you go ahead and select the force mode what this will do is it will continuously reapply the settings, which basically makes everything be safe. And if you go to the bottom right of the computer, you'll see that it's there in your taskbar. Once you're back in the application though, what you want to do next is open the game of your choice. So mine's gonna be Fortnite. Then you want to head back into the software and you actually want to use the search bar right here on the right to type in the game of your choice. So far type in Fortnite here and click Most on Most people it. think this is the one you can fix, but it isn't it's actually the client win 60 for shippings. Once you found this specific process right here, you firstly want to right click, and click on, on it where it says CPU priority. What we're gonna do is go under always and set it from the default not. Or if anything it might be on normal, we're gonna go ahead and change it to high. And this will change the priority class to high. So it is a high priority rather than just for normal. Another thing people tend to do is right click on it again, but this doesn't work time. Select the I slash O priority and underwords as always. They tend to set this from a default not. Or it might be a normal to high as well. And what this settings for is, is for, for your peripherals or devices. So your mouse, your keyboard, or your controller. So if you do want to change this back, you can literally just go back onto non if you want. Another very popular thing people tend to do is find the game itself. Remember that's a win 60 for shipping. And this time they go into the game to CPU affinity. And they go under the always tab right here. And where it says disable hyperfreden for Intel, then actually might say hyperfreden for Intel. Then Zemp for AMD. It'll give you the option to disable both of them. What they tend to do is actually disable it, which if I press it right here and go back inside, you can see that it's disabled. Some of my CPU performance cause and it's sort of done it in this even light fashion right here. Some people claim that it boosts performance if they disable it and then some people have also claimed that it boosts performance if they go ahead and have it enabled. Like so so. It's one of them things. You can try out and sort of benchmark yourself to see if it sort of makes any difference however. For myself, I like to just go ahead and keep a high profit and on. For now, as I've tried this, and there really wasn't any difference at all. Another popular thing people tend to do is find the client of their game. Again, they right click on it on it, but this time they go into power mode. And as you can see by default, it's on none. But most people like to actually select high performance, or what I found even better than that is balance, high performance overlay. And I'll actually select one of them. And if I go ahead and select it right now, you can see that it changes up here or will do, yeah. There it is right there. And that's how you know it's being sort light. of activated. And the final thing people like to do is find their client. Yet again, they right click on it. And this this time under where it says CPU affinity, they go into all ways. 
and they select a custom CPU affinity. And inside here you can see it may look confusing, but it isn't on the left side here. The two columns you've got your performance cause, and then where it says E next to them, you've got your efficiency cause. And what people tend to do with these is, they select their main game, which we just have Fortnite, you can do with Valorant Minecraft, whatever, they go ahead and only select their performance, cause for the game itself, and you can see that unchecks all their efficient cause. They then press OK. So if we're going to Epic Games for example, find the launcher right click on it. CPU affinity going to always then select it. Or go ahead and deselect the performance Of cost. course and only use the e-course for the game. But don't forget they also make sure that the CPU affinity is set up to be performance course. On the game itself as well.